So this is a question I've got before, and I wanted to cover it. Should you get four subwoofers or two larger subwoofers? And it might surprise some people because everyone knows I don't like running a single sub. Not at all. And I've done it twice since I've gone duels. I've had to go back to a single on a couple different occasions, and I really don't like running a single. Uh, duels just sound way better. Uh, I've run four subs before uh, on, a, on a, you know, and I'm not against running four subs. I don't want you to get me wrong. Uh, I think it's a, it's a cool thing to do. But the specific question was, uh, should I run four PB1000s or two PB2000s? Now, running two PB2000s would actually be cheaper than the four PB1000s. And my thought on this is I would want to get the most potent duels that I can rather than getting four lower powered subs uh, you know, for the same money. So why do I think that? Well, I, I, I listened to the PB2000s for a long time. Uh, it's one of my favorite subwoofers. It's the value and, and everything like that. It, it's just a great sub. I recommend it more than any other subwoofer. Uh, it, economically and, and, and the size, it's just, it's a great option. But anyway, uh, I also think the PB1000 is a great option as well because it's, you know, you get dual subs for under a thousand bucks. Uh, it's, it's, you're getting deep response. You're getting all the good stuff. It's a great entry point into what I, what you might call big boy base. Okay. Um, so it's, I really like the PB 1000s. I'm not against them. Um, but the PB 2000s have more potency. They're more powerful. They give you more of that kick to your chest, uh, when, when these, uh, scenes come on. So for me, uh, Here's here's how I came to this decision. Uh, I listened to the PB2000s for a long time, and then I got the PB16 Ultras in. And the PB16 Ultras are outstanding. Um, some of the best subs, I mean, that I've ever heard, period. Uh, I, they're just fantastic. And it's, it's that potency and that kick that you get from a higher wattage sub that it's hard to put into words because you're not necessarily going any deeper when you go from a PB2000 to a PB16 or a PB4000. I mean, the, the response graphs almost look the same. You know, so it's, what I mean by that is they've got the same depth of presentation, which is awesome, which it, you can find across the SVS line. They're, they're, it's, it's amazing that they get them so close. Uh, the difference is in potency. And what I mean by that is in the movie, uh, The Accountant, uh, where he's shooting the suppressed fire. When I listened to that on the PB2000s, it was good. When I heard it on the PB16 Ultras, wow. I mean, it, it kicked me in the chest. So I, I've run uh, two PB2000s and two PC2000s, and I didn't get the same potency as I got from dual PB16 Ultras or dual PB4000s. So where running four subs might help even out the response even more in the room. Uh, to me, running more potent duels, so running higher wattage duels uh, in, a, in a dual configuration versus four lower powered subs, uh, I think running the more potent subs or the more powerful subs uh, give you more dynamic headroom and just, I, I think you get more bang for your buck. Now, in that, in that situation where he was talking about you know, should I get four PB1000s or two PB2000s? It's actually cheaper to get the dual, more powerful sub in that scenario. So for me, that was an easy choice. For me, if I, if I was deciding, you know, would it be four PB4, PB1000s or dual PB2000s, piece of cake. It's a no brainer for me. Um, now, if you're wanting to go up in value uh, and you have, you know, uh, dual PB 4000s, let's say, and let's say you want to make those and run four subs with those. Uh, I'd have no problem with that. Uh, I think it'd sound great because they're already a really potent sub. Um, you know, switching out to the PB 16 ultras would also be a, a good move. Honestly, if, if you were able to do the trade up, I would go to the PB 16 ultras over the PB 4000. Okay. Um, but if it was past the year trade up or you don't get trade up because you're out of the country or something like that, uh, then in that situation, 
running four PB4000s would be a great way to go. Uh, you're you're going to get more benefit and things like that. But if you have the option to upgrade, uh, I think it's totally worth it. But I would also, by the way, uh, I would keep all of the subs the same. Uh, I've tried mixing subs before, had a terrible time with it, uh, reliably. <laughs> Every time I try and mix subs, it just doesn't work out. Um, I, I like to have them identical, and maybe that's me being way too picky, but that's my personal thing on it. So hopefully that helps you decide if you're trying to figure out whether you should go four subs or uh, two bigger subs uh, for the same money. For me, uh, I would get the two more potent subs because I think you'll get more out of it. I think it'll be more exciting, uh, more fun. So hopefully that helps. Uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe.